I'm really excited about my next guest. Yay, everybody. Listen, this woman has transcended not just this city, not just this nation, not just the continent, but she is all kinds of wonderful international. Please give a warm round of applause to our entertainer of the day, Victoria Kimani. Hi, guys. How are you? How are you? I'm excellent. One more. How are you? Hi, guys. Say hi. Hi. How are wow. you doing? They look nice. <laughs> they do, don't yeah, they? they do. You look very lovely. Thank you. You have had a busy schedule because you've been working on something amazing. Yes. Okay, so Safari and congratulations. Everybody, guess what? Her album is number one on iTunes in today Kenya. in yes. Kenya. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. It's been a great journey. Tell us about this track, uh, this album, Safari. Um, this album is a compilation of songs that I feel truly reflect who I am as an artist. Um, as, as a lot of people know, I've been doing a lot of traveling in my career and also in my childhood. My parents are pastors and missionaries and I grew up moving around and literally never spent more than two years in one school. Yeah. I don't know how healthy that is, but that was how I was brought up. And uh, yeah, like I've learned so many things along the way. I've, I've picked up so many different like styles and sounds and fashion trends and cultures along the way. Yeah. And I, I think Safari is the best way for me to round all that up and basically show the world who I am now. It's amazing. Thank you. 15 tracks, yes. not a small feat at all. Yeah. Right, so coming up with these specific tracks, because you've done a mixtape before, mm -hmm. and coming up with these tracks that were very, very, of course, unique and close to your heart, tell us a little bit about that process. Um, well, thankfully, uh, the label that I'm attached to, Chocolate City, they don't give me any restrictions creatively. Mm -hmm. So I was able to go in the studio and then just do me. Um, the underlying sound in, on the Safari album is pop and R&B. That's my background. Um, I used to be a songwriter for other people. And now I'm finally able to sing my own songs and not have to give them away. And um, so yeah, I, 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 I've worked with various producers on this track, not only in Kenya, but also South Africa yeah. and in Nigeria, and I've collaborated with some amazing artists. And for me, um, I, I feel like the album has pretty much something for everyone. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really proud of this piece of work. Really, Excellent. Really excited. You are a stickler for perfection and good quality. Yes. I can tell just by <laughs> looking at some of your music videos you. and some of your work. Um, tell me a little bit about why, for you, the standard must remain up there or go higher yeah, uh, in terms of your music and your brand. Well, I mean, if you look around at what's happening with African music, like artists are getting signed, yo, by like. Jay Z and like know, like it's right? happening right now yeah. and there, people are looking at Africa, and um, I I mean we need to take our work just as seriously as as they do over there in the states. Yeah. And I mean I see no reason why Kenya can't be at, at international stages. And so I I try to put a lot of effort into the creativity and into the quality. Mm -hmm. um, I I go out of my way for that. I even had to push my album launch about three months back just yeah. to make sure it was mixed and mastered properly um, so that when the DJs are playing yeah. the music, say, next to a Rihanna song, it sounds on the same quality level. Right. You know, so then, you know, we're giving Kenyans options. You can listen to this pop sound or you can listen to that. So for me, quality is very, very important. Okay. And um, yeah, I mean, if we really, really want to compete on a world level and even continentally, then we need to, you know, have to top notch, and it doesn't even mean it's expensive. Right. Um, I believe, well, obviously, creativity is free. It's something that you can come up with in your living room and yeah. shoot something epic with your iPhone, but it's just about it being well thought of, and if people can see an effort made into what you're doing, I yeah. think that's the first step. Okay, looking at, of course, uh, th this year culminating, it's yes. been a long year. Oh my gosh, 2016, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but looking at, of course, the culmination of this going into a new year in terms of your new strategy, mm. I know you have one, <laughs> uh, putting out this album, uh, performing, live concert, touring. Tell us a little bit about that, too. Um, well, 
you said going into the next year? Or? Yes, into 2017. What yeah. are your plans for this album? Well, I plan on taking this album to the world, you know, and, and hopefully putting out another one by the end of 2017. Yeah. But for now, it's just, I plan on putting out more visuals, um, definitely performing. I'd like to bring the album to life um, mm -hmm. outside of, I mean, just the true meaning of what it means. It's, yeah. it's a journey. So I want to take that album with me on my journey, perform the song for the masses, wave that Kenyan flag everywhere that I go. Right. And um, yeah, just continue to, to be great. You're about to perform for us. Yay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You're about to perform for us. But yeah. before you do, there is, of course, a misconception. I think this is just because of social media um, and your fans mm. and everyone who wants to know about you, yes. that you really don't live here. <laughs> that you live in Nigeria, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> and that you know that you work with international, with other artists and mm. with other producers mm. and videographers mm -hmm. uh, than you do Kenyans. Clarify okay. that here today, girl. <laughs> um, well, I, I was given the opportunity in 2013 mm. to sign to a record label that was based in Nigeria, but wanted to open a branch in Kenya. And uh, the label is called Chocolate City. And yeah, I took the opportunity. I had been releasing so much music before then, but it wasn't getting airplay, it yeah. wasn't getting anything. So I stepped out on faith and I took the opportunity and it's been amazing ever yeah. since then. But I, I very much live in Kenya. Like I live in Kilimani, guys. Like <laughs> I'm at Yaya every other day. Yeah. Um, but I do travel a lot. I, I go where I'm booked. Okay. Um, I, I would like to be here a lot more, um, you know, our, our music industry here, as far as like live concerts go, I, I see a lot of international artists coming in and mm. rarely do I see like our own people as headliners. Um, and, and that's unfortunate. I'd, I'd like to see that change in 2017. But um, yeah, I, I'm traveling a lot though. And the funny thing is I'm, that's not even like primarily the base base other mm -hmm. than the label being there. I'm there, I'm in South Africa, I'm here, I'm moving around wherever, okay. wherever the flag takes me, wherever right. the music takes me. We love you, Victoria, and you're doing you such guys. a great job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I always celebrate uh, the Kenyans who are putting us on the global map for all the right reasons. So Thank the you. least we can do is buy the album, right, guys? Thank you. Are you going to give us a couple to give to these wonderful people? You know what? I, I'm, I'm going to get some to you. OK. Yeah, and then oh, right. you can get it to them, because I ran out like right before I got here. OK, it's OK. okay. We, we're going to hook them up. Yes. All right, yes, yes, guys. Yes, yes. yes indeedy.